Okay, listen, I just want to talk a little bit about while it's on my mind because uh, from the game on Saturday, an observation, and now I'm going, to th I'm going to forget about it. I want to make an observation for you. When you create space as a player, okay, when the coach is talking about creating space, when I'm watching you guys playing, often enough, and the majority of times, hey, don't make me hypnotize you, okay? The majority of times, when you make a run, and when our forwards make the run, midfield players make a run, you make a run with the sole purpose of receiving the pass. You cannot do that in soccer. You cannot only run when you think you're going to get it. You're good strikers, you're really good strikers. If you two want to get better, have to understand and appreciate that there's got to be a balance between when we're developing the play and you make that diagonal run expecting the ball you've also during the course of the game got to make runs so you are creating space for somebody else to get the ball do you understand general rule listen carefully if you if somebody's marking you and you want to tommy come on out tommy's marking me if i want to create space behind me Okay. If I want to create the space there behind me, where do you think I should run first? Towards the ball. Where's the space being created now? Over here. And then, hey, I might give that little pass and accelerate behind them. Do you understand that? If I want the ball short to my feet to turn on the ball, he's marking me. Do I go towards it or away from it? Away. So Tommy's marking me, I go away from the guy. Chase, get a ball, go over there. I mean, yeah. I go away from the guy, and then when I'm, if I want to turn, the moment I'm going to go, I'm just going to move back a little bit. Give me the ball here, and there I can turn on him, and I'm going to go. So listen, if you want the ball short, watch this. Big mistake a lot of you do. He's got the ball, especially our strikers. You, your first run is this, Sam. You see the play developing? Guy's marking you. You want the ball short, so what you do, you go short, but watch what he does when I go short. If I go short, what's he doing? Come on. He's in a great position to defend. So you spin off and go. So you take him away, come on, take him away, and then you bang in here, and he goes short. I've created that space to explode back into. Okay, and again, if I want to go long, I bring him short, little pass, and that ball might be chipped over the top for me. All right, so this is a, hey, secret sauce. Bring it in, listen. Secret sauce. Whenever you're trying to create space for yourself, this is the golden rule. Don't tell anybody, okay? Not even my mom. Not even your mom. <laughs> hey, you always, never forget this as a striker. You always make one run for the guy who's marking you, and your run is the second run for you. So when you want the ball, the first run, hey, if you only make one run for yourself, if you only make one run for yourself, watch carefully, and go, you're easy to mark. The first run is for me, because you're gonna, you're gonna leave me somewhere. Where do you wanna leave me now? Okay, I'm coming in, I'm marking you. Now, the second run, that's your run, see that? See the difference? As opposed to just coming across looking for the ball. Now I'm working hard. What? Now I'm working hard as a defender. I'm being exhausted. Second thing is this. Second thing is this. If you are looking to receive the ball in advanced positions on the field, you want to be a sneaky player and a quiet player. If I'm a striker and there's a defender and he's watching the ball and play, I'm going to try and get behind him, but I'm going to be quiet. I'm going to be sneaky. I'm going to get goal side. Watch this. I'm going to try and sneak in, but I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to make my run and go. As opposed to, like hey, when you want the ball, you're sneaking in behind the back door quiet. Watch carefully. If you want to create space for another player and you want to take him out of that position for somebody else to get in, should, you noise, should your run be noisy or loud? Should be both. 
I mean, should it be loud or quiet? Why? Quiet. Why should it be loud? <laughs> so then Shh. they know you're going, so you pull them away from the place. You want to attract his attention, correct? Yeah. So now if I want Chase to follow me, if he's a defender, watch carefully. I'm not going to be sneaky. I want him to see me. Hey, yes, give me the balls. And, and I might actually just took his shirt a little bit. And now, boom, I've left this space for you. So listen, there's more to it. Guys, there's more to it than just, hey, there's the ball like a dog chasing a bone or an ice cream van, okay? <laughs> Can't be doing that. Hey, it's intelligent, it's intelligent. <laughs>